not sure who this principal is, the date of this video, or where it was even taken. I'm also not sure if he survived the attack. But as you can see, he was stabbed multiple times as he exited his vehicle, despite having multiple security agents around him. Now, this principal appeared to be someone of utmost importance, and assuming that he was, that his agents were government security agents or some agents that he hired from a professional security firm. Regardless of who they were, oftentimes in some of these countries, especially third world countries, the training that they receive just isn't up to par to the training that we receive and provide in the United States. So I'd like to take this time not only to review this video, but to stress the importance of initial executive protection training for those who work in the industry and those who desire to work in the industry and also continuing education and training through the course of your career so that you can better protect yourself, the people that hire you and your teammates. And I also like to stress the importance of the quality of your training is more important than taking the training itself. Looking at this video, you can clearly see that the positioning of the agents and their awareness just wasn't where it needed to be and that that small slither in the 360 degree protection bubble was just enough to allow the assailant to slide in and stab the principal multiple times and also stab multiple members of the security detail before he could be subdued. We always teach that the most dangerous times for a principal to be killed or injured is when entering and exiting buildings and entering and exiting vehicles. If you surf the internet or even my social media profile, you will find no shortage of incidents of high profile clients being killed, assaulted or attacked while entering and exiting vehicles. Sort of like that Justin Bieber incident that I posted on my TikTok, my YouTube and my Instagram page. Uh, you'll also find countless situations where clients are locked out of their vehicles because the security failed to communicate that they were coming out to the driver the driver wasn't paying attention and the driver failed to unlock the door so that the client can get in. Which brings me to my next point. Everybody thinks that they can do this job without professional executive protection training. Let me assure you that if you want to go home at night, if you want your principal and your teammates to go home at night, that that's just not so. If you've been working in the executive protection industry without training, and you have been incident free to this point, let me assure you, you have just been lucky. But let me remind you of something that's called Murphy's Law. Good old Mr. Murphy says, anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. And the extended version says, anything that can go wrong, will go wrong at the worst possible time. In this field, we do things methodically for a reason, and we do it the same way every time unless an incident causes us to rethink how we're doing things. Everyone has a position, everyone has an assignment, everyone knows what to do, everyone knows what to look out for, everyone knows what's expected of them, and we look to improve on every assignment. Well, that's my rant, so go be great. And if you're interested in the art of executive protection, shoot me a DM or an email or give my office a call and we'll get you into one of our next executive protection classes. Until then, be safe. I'm out.